Who's there? Oh, hi! Yeah! You're checking it out too, huh? Wow, you're so impressed. You're turning around and walking away. Ladies and gents, this is your personal virus and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back on the Cry Havoc server to our ARK survival let's play. I'm here at the Red Obelisk because around here, over there, is where I lost Petra. I've been flying around forever and two, three and four days, but I can't find Petra. It is really, really sad. But there are at least some kind of good news as well, even though it is really a pity that Petra has gone. But that is kind of this game, sadly. It's all about eat or get eaten, right? That's how nature is, really. But when flying around here, I actually discovered a spot that I would absolutely love to turn into our base. We are living in that little hut until now. It's really not more than a hut. It will be our vacation home. Look at this spot. I would quite love this spot right here if it weren't for the water up here to look rather disgusting. It's not as bad right now, but you should see it in the evening. It is all... Ew. It looks yellow, brown, reddish. It is just... Ew. Also, the sound tells us that this right there is close to a jungle and... Nope. This spot here is really pretty. Oh! Never mind, someone got a hut here. <laughs> all the more reason not to settle here. The place... I actually want to settle this right ahead of us. Looks nice, right? Yeah. Wait for the rest to render in, then it will look absolutely epic. Because right here we have rocks. Rocks galore. This is such a cool spot. We can remove many, many of these. I already tried it out. Most of these we can remove, like this one here, we can just smash it and then it won't respawn once we start building here hi you look cool you look like you have a helmet on i like you and this rock formation here though this will stay and you can actually go inside it walk through it and i mean is that cool or what we have this tree here right in the middle of plenty of rocks can we remove these oh we can hmm Oh, this one has to stay though. Okay, I like that. What about you? Yeah, you're part of that. What about you? Okay, this can be removed. Oh, and this one will stay too. This is really cool. Imagine if we were to remove this one here. We had like a natural entrance for flyers to come into the base. Oh, do I love that. So I think what I will do to... A dodo just pooped. A dodo just pooped. This is the sign. We have to be here. Who are you? Who are you? What level are you? Hey. Level 36. You look kind of greenish. If you're still there later, I will tame you and you'll be my lucky charm dodo for this place and you will join Dudu and Lucy. <laughs> That'll be great. Oh man, but I really love this spot. So I think we will actually start with some building here. I have seen a bunch of carnos around, so what I want to do first is fence off this area so no badness comes in. And let me try and explain to you from the air. I think right here. Let me... Now your wing is in the way. <laughs> Quetzalcoatl is such a useful body. It is absolutely cool. Like right this line here, I will have walls going with gates and everything. Never built these, so we will see, we will see. I have plenty of stone right here that I can harvest, but this rock formation is so cool. We can have a large platform on top of it to land Quetza. Oh yeah, that will be the coolest. I'm quite excited for this space. It offers us a lot more space, even though it will be a bit challenging with all these rocks, but that's what I like about it. 
I don't like it if it's too easy. This way we have to work around problems. It'll be cool. So let me do some material gathering. Hi Quetza, you're ginormous and you're quite pretty. <laughs> and I'll be back with you in a month. Alrighty guys, it's another day and I actually brought Chubby over here because I thought he's the best machine for stone harvesting. He looks a bit grumpy, he maybe didn't like the flight too much, <laughs> but it was pretty cool just bringing him over here with, uh, not Petra, not Petra, Quetzalcoatl. And I thought since we are crouching, yeah, right, since we are here now, and about to start everything and I wanted to place down a smithy because I will need it I thought I would start and get me some foundations going and these will basically be the foundations we will use later on as well so let's see how far we can get this guy into this corner the further the better does it actually make a difference oh it does it does we can get him way further if we do it like that Let's do that then. Let's do that. Let me see. Hey! You just wanted to. Is that in the way here? I could be get rid of it then. Oh. What are you do What are you doing? Oh it was lag? Was that it? Ah <laughs> thank you, lag. Dang it! Anyways, we have enough to place down this Miffy. This is all we need for now, because I think I have everything ready already. Hey, you just wanted to. Okay, you like... Oh, let me think. Maybe I would like it like so... Or just a bit angled, just a bit angled. Yeah, so does... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that, do that, do that. Okay, good, 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 good. So, I collected a lot of materials and I should have everything for the biggest thing we want to start with here. Let's bring Quetzal a little closer. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, perfect, absolutely perfect. That is very nice. Oh, what are you running from over there? I'm still a bit nervous because I don't know what awaits me here. I have seen one Carno, but one Carno only so far. Piranhas, not a problem. I've seen a few crocodiles, which have me a bit worried. So yeah, gotta keep an eye out for bad things. That's the disadvantage with that base so far. We don't really have an overview. It's... dang it. <laughs> it's very difficult to actually see around because... oh, we can't get up high yet. I'm so slow. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, here we go. Let's get stuff in the smithy. All the stuff we can. Wait, Quetza, can I get you a little closer, maybe? Please don't destroy anything. Oh, yeah, that looks perfect. Like this, I should be able to empty Quetzas. What was that? What was that earthquake? Um... I'm a bit worried. Did not see any message that... Oh, I'm totally full. That my guy was attacked. Chubby is okay, right? I would have heard him, right? And Quetzal should have jumped too. Right? <laughs> right? Please tell me that. Okay, let's see. That should be enough. Should be enough. I want to craft structure stone. Hey, what's missing? Oh, loads is missing. Ooh, I need way more wood and way more thatch. Okay, okay. Give me just a minute then and I will get these things. Hawkeye, there we go, there we go. That thing was expensive. Oh, wowee. And the doors aren't any cheaper either. But I want to see how that thing looks. I'm excited. It should be ginormous. Which is what we want, because we also want to get Sauron in and out of here easily. Let me see, where do we want our gate to start? I would say right in the middle of here. Yeah, let's land Quetzal here, so we kind of know where it is. Is it raining? No, no. This stone could be in the way. But it could. 
Whoopsies, <laughs> my recording software crashed there in the middle of the sentence, how rude. What I was about to say was something like this thing is ginormous. Yep, yep, it is, it is. Do you see that on the side there? This over there? It looks like a little door. That is an actual dino gate compared to the behemoth gate. It is so tiny. <laughs> I have started doing loads and loads of work. I've started putting down all these foundations. This was a lot of materials collecting already. I started putting in the walls for them too. And I want to have them too wide because meh, these one wide walls, they just look so... I don't know. I don't know. They look too thin. And the main problem with that whole thing is... Look at it from the air. It looks quite nice, right? Especially now that the sun comes. But you should never judge sizes when you're on a Quetzal. Look how much larger everything actually is. Um, just settle down, please. Thank you. Holy cow. This was so much resource gathering just for these few walls and foundations. Holy, and we have such a large space in here now already. This will be a lot larger than I originally thought, but it's not bad. It is not bad at all. I get that all the materials we will need to make the actual gate for the team of thingy. So let us craft that. <coughs> Hello, PC. Hi, and welcome to our future base. Have me a fire going on here to okay. cook some meat. Never have enough meat. Nom, nom, nom. Let us see. Structures. Stone. There we go. Look at that. 450 of each. And we have over 600, almost 700 stone here. Let's craft that bad boy. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, that gave us a level up. Very good. Because I want to increase my weight. No, thank you. I just learned something don't want to learn more there we go reinfor can i not move oh i can i was just stuck in there i thought i was maybe encumbered with that thing reinforced behemoth gate you guys ready whoa oh my lord look at the little brother of that badass thing that is big already in here check it out it is so epic. I wanted to have this as a little side entrance. Just, I don't know, maybe we can have our water dinos parked down there. Have a little bridge going over to that ledge and kind of wall them in, you know? And then I could have a way to get up here and into the base without having to always having to go around all the way. Now let's check this guy here out. Ooh. I was hoping for a more epic sound effect, maybe, but this is... Who's there? Oh, hi! Yeah! You're checking it out too, huh? Wow, you're so impressed. You're turning around and walking away. Yeah! Wow. Wait. Now the question is... Hey, hey. Oh, you're just pooping. Okay. What do we do with these walls? I started making them too high somewhere. Yeah, here. And too high won't do. <laughs> we'll at, ne at least need to go three high. And that means so many materials. This is the weirdest lighting effect here. Oh, sun is only shining right on this spot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we will have them too wide, as I said. And here I tried that already. It'll look pretty cool, but we have a few spots where it doesn't match up. Here I sadly misplay... Ooh, poof misplaced and I am contemplating whether I should redo all these things maybe I should because it will drive me nuts but then I will most likely have to redo this guy as well I don't know guys but this is our actual base oh, I guess we have to do it ah this hurts this hurts at least we get a few of the materials back but we lose a lot here Oh, this hurts. Wait a second. Is that? Are you still there? Are you? Okay, okay. Let's try to 
recraft that and line it a bit better. Can we not? We are missing thatch. We are missing one thatch. Are you kidding me? Well, we have to remove all these guys here. I'm just a bit worried about my weight. Yep, there we go. Encumbered. It is kind of foggy, is it not? Looks really, really weird somehow. Right, let's quickly craft that. This will be a really epic base. I believe. Oh, it would be the best if we could... No, 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 no. Don't align it with that guy. If we could somehow make it so that I don't have to replace... This whole thing back there. Oh, don't jump like that. You have to be as close as possible. Oh, that looks good. Maybe like so. Yeah, that could work. Now, let me see. Can I craft a wall? I very well can. Let's use this and hopefully this will work now. How does it look? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That totally works. This wall here looks actually pretty cool with the little gap. That is nice, that is good. So let's see how far we can get by demolishing all these things here. Oh, sad, sad day. Uh, it's not too bad, really. The only problem, the only pain in the bum is the wood. Gathering wood is taking quite long. Okay, I picked something up. I am collective like that. Okay, uh, so slow, so slow, can barely move, have to remove this though. So I think one of the main priorities we have to look after now are the beavers. And that should be pretty cool. These guys are maniacs in wood gathering. Oh, you won't connect. Dang it, dang it. Okay, let's try the aligning thing again. Like so. Oh yeah, and this way we can even turn it a bit further. We will have a little gap in here, I fear. Oh, that rhymed in here, I fear. But that is okay. Oh, I shouldn't have turned it further. No, there's no way that we can line up with the behemoth gate back there. Oh well, we'll have to remove that then. After all, true pity. The rock the behemoth gate is connected to there is actually harvestable. So we could remove it, but I like it there, because it kind of gives us natural defense. So I would rather keep it, if possible. And if possible, keep the gate too. But, well, it's just a normal gate, not a behemoth one, so it's not too bad to lose it. But yet still. Yet still. It's a bit of a pity. Can we craft another one? Nope. Nope. Where is cool? Wait, <coughs> sir? Where is good, sir? Uh, how can I? Oh, <laughs> how could I lose a Quetzal cuddle? Oh man. Oh man. I bet I need stone. You should. Oh no. Oh, my stone is in here now. Give me stone and wood and more stone. And craft me. What am I missing? Ha! Huh! Look at that. We're missing thatch. Give me thatch. You never know. Alrighty. Two is enough. That's perfect. No, oh, only one. What are we missing for that then? Once that is all done. More stone? We do have a few more stone. Yep, more stone. Should be enough for one more wall just so that we can close this thing off again and feel a bit safer. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm not really sure if these beaver things can spawn around here and I really hope nothing will spawn inside these walls. I don't mind a trike or something like that, but compies would be super annoying. And larger things would be really, really bad. Alright. Oh, you won't connect. Ah, but there's a gap. I can already see it. Hang it. So we will have to remove that guy. Would have been too nice to be true. Hmm. I don't like this very much. It turns too much. Maybe what we should do is get rid of this guy, place the gate here. Uh, it will work out somehow. Can I? Okay. Oh, that hurts. Ah, that hurts. Hmm. And I bet I don't have enough stuff to craft it again. 
Well, I have enough to craft this guy. I guess. Why not? <laughs> now we need a lot of stone and a lot of wood. As I said, stone is not a problem at all. I can show you how Chubby just goes. Chubby is a king at gathering the stones. Come on, Chubby. Yeah. Swoosh. 100. Like, I know it's 99, but you know. Swoosh. And more swoosh. And more swoosh. Over 200. Almost 300. That's how quick that goes. Oh, but I don't think I have enough wood, right? Yeah. That's the problem again. Give me just a second. Alrighty, I got it. Everything's ready. Everything is here. Now let's see how we can place this guy. Ah, there will be a gap. Dang it. That will bug me out. That will bug me out. And I doubt we can do much about it. Okay, let's see. How's that? It is really good over here. And it is decent over here. I mean, it's good enough. I don't... No, I don't have any foundations left. Oh, well. Oh, well, we will live with that for now, then. Got nine more walls. Should be enough to finish this guy off again and feel safe again. Come on. I know you want to. It will be a bit tricky to get these walls all on the same height level, but maybe we don't need that. Maybe it will look good even if we don't have them on the same height level. We just have to see. I do want to have a way to walk on top of all the walls. So we will have to see how that will look then. Let's get you up there, just to see. Yeah, three high looks good. Maybe we even need four, though. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> okay, how do you look? Okay, we do have a little gap here, but it's not too bad. Oh, I have the, the door, actually. Let me place that again. Use it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's a bit... Oh, it's actually not bad, the way it bends around here. I do like that. This I do not like. Well, if in the worst case we can remove this rock and just turn the wall to over here, make it go straight up to the cliff. I don't know. I don't know. But... Wow! Interesting. Right now I feel pretty safe in here. I would hope nothing can come in from over there. It is possible in theory, it is just a ledge, but ooh, we need water. I don't think, yeah, oh, maybe these crocodiles could actually come up here. Can you come up here? Oh, you can't, can you? Oh, perfect. This is perfect. I was pretty sure you could, but it's not as easy, and if it's that difficult for me, I'm pretty sure a dino can't make it. Perfect. Perfect. I would guess a Rex can just walk over this height, so we aren't perfectly safe yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll do some more resource gathering, a bit more building, and then I'll see you once again in a minute. Alrighty, guys. I've made some progress. The wall is three high almost everywhere, and once I had that done, I was so happy about it. And I decided we would go for high. <laughs> oh man. But this is the reason why. I want to have these little platforms there. I quite like it how it looks with these struts there coming up. So we will have them every now and then. I believe two on this side. And let me quickly check. I think the other side is white. Yeah, we'll have two there too though. That will work. Maybe one back here. I'm not too sure maybe maybe we will see but let me quickly get down here and show you what the plan is so many materials <laughs> holy <laughs> when this is all done we'll be able to get up here and i think i crafted me the walls i need yep there we go let me see since we have the strut right here we should be able to place you 
Perfect. And we should be able to place you. Perfect. I was a bit unsure about that one. But this is cool. We'll have railings here. Maybe even a turret. Oh yeah, turret is an interesting idea. Whereby we could go even higher for a turret. I'm not sure. I am not sure. We will see. But if we have a three wide, then maybe it's not so good to have more than one of these. Maybe one wide is better. Let me check from the front. Man, the Quetzal. That is such a useful dino. It really, really is the best. Okay, I do like the three wide. Oh yeah, we'll have three wide there and then we'll have one in the corner maybe. That could work, whereby then we don't really get many struts and I want more struts. We will see. We will see, but in general, I quite like it. Let me see, where would I place the next strut? If we go for one in the corner, which I actually like, which I actually quite like. Let me see. I'm stuck. <laughs> Little inventory glitches always. Oh, might not let us place this guy here. Yeah, it's free placing here. Dang it. If I place you here, could I then place you? Wait, maybe if I... Can I by chance craft me a... Found yes, I can. Okay, let's craft a thatch foundation. Let's see if that works. Just for now. Wait, what? Ah, dang it, I crafted the wrong thing here. Okay. Maybe it works still. Let's place that thing right here and see if that guy attaches to that now. No. No, okay. Ah, I crafted a roof. Yeah, yeah of course it wouldn't attach to a roof. And it's raining again! Yay! Foundation. Oh yeah, we can craft a thatch foundation as well. Let's see if that works. That would be good. Because I would really like the strut to be right in the corner there. Okay, you don't like it, but you do. Now. Yes! See? This is free placing here. It snaps into position. Perfect. You can go. Thank you. Yes! Perfect. Alright, so we will have these guys here. And one more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then we would have one pretty much right around here. And to make it three wide, it would have to go here then. Let me see how that looks. Wait, are you correct? Yes, you are. And another one. And another one. And another one. Nicely done! <laughs> How does that look? Not bad at all. Really not bad at all. Now I'm even tempted to make this walkway go all the way along here and have more of these struts. Not sure about that. My ideal, what I would have loved for them would be if they were going kind of inside the wall here like it tries to do here but it won't let me but that would have looked the coolest i don't know maybe i'll find something else to spice this wall up make it look less plain and less boring maybe just a few win those okay <laughs> but all in all i really love this base it is a beautiful area doesn't seem to be too dangerous we have a lot of space here with this super cool mountain structure. I really hope we can keep the tree in there. And I will keep flying around this area just because, you know, maybe we will find Petra. Maybe. I haven't given up all hope yet. <laughs> Please land. Alrighty guys, this will be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I will see you in the next one. This was your personal virus. Whoop. And I hope I got you infected.